When lights go out You're in my mind I close my eyes So it's just you and I And I tell myself You'll be back again Hello friends! Welcome back to my channel and into my home. So today we're going to be doing a spring clean and decorate for 2024. Now I'm not one who likes to have a lot of tchotchkes around my home, but I did find a few pieces that I'm excited to add into strategic places and I'm going to show you that haul here in just a minute. I'm also going to take you in the kitchen as I put together a very simple Easter treat for my grandkids. I even show you how to make that treat in two different ways. So right now I'm starting here on my buffet in my dining room. In the spring and the summer months, I like to bring in lots of plants over onto this side of the house because of all the sunlight that I get through these large and small windows. Right here in this bowl, I like to change out all the potpourri and add in um, seasonal potpourri. And this season I found some really pretty potpourri um, that I'll be putting in this bowl and it's got some beautiful spring colors and I'm really excited to get it in here. But first, I'm going to take out all the Christmas ones. Um, I did take out the gold pine cones so that way it could transition into winter. Um, but I did keep some of the pops of red because I really like that red. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and get this all cleaned up. I'm also going to use some pledge here on the top of the um, buffet. I have not been using pledge throughout the years. I just bought my first bottle um, or first can in the last few years. Um, I just think that my wood is looking a little thirsty um, with what I've been using, which is the Methods Daily Wood Cleaner. I absolutely love that. I use it every single day on top of my table, especially when the grandkids come over and get little handprints and um, Play-Doh, things like that on the table. I'll go ahead and pull out my Method um, Daily Wood Cleaner. Um, and I love the smell of it. It smells like almonds. Anyways, um, but occasionally you do need to add a little bit of oil to your um, furniture um, because it does get a little bit thirsty. Okay, so right here is my Easter haul. Loving the colors of this potpourri. I'm gonna put it in my container that I hold potpourri in. Um, and look at this cute little bunny um, container that you put candy in. I thought this would be so cute by my front door. Gonna put these little chocolate eggs in there. Look at the decoration on that. Isn't that so cute? So right here, I'll put it at the coffee bar. And this candle, oh my goodness, does it smell so good. And the um, packaging is just so pretty, or the container is just so pretty. And over here, I have these this container of rags. I won't be using this, but I am gonna be using these. Um, take them out of here, and I'm gonna stick them on here and set it in the grandkids' bathroom, along with this cute little candle. Look at this, isn't this so cute? I highly doubt that I'm gonna be burning it because it's just so cute. And then look at the blanket this year. I'm gonna be using this in the living room. Thought it was cute. Um, I can't wait to wash it up and use it at night. Really liking that. This right here is my bunny collection that I've had. So I'll be adding them in. I love all these little white bunnies. I also have this little brown one right here. And this is my candy dish that I used to keep at the front door, but now I'm gonna be using that new one. So this is my haul for this year.
I don't think I mentioned it, but all this stuff came from Home Goods this year. And this right here is what I'm really excited about. Um, I love to put fresh potpourri in here and I love it when it goes with the color of the season. Now, um, typically I, you know, keep um, potpourri in here, but I did not have any for spring. I was using the pine cones and then just adding some um, flowers on top of that. But when I saw this, I'm like, that's what I'm getting. And the way that I store this is you saw me go ahead and put it in a plastic bag. Um, I just wrap it and, and tie it and then I write what season's on there and I keep them all in a large Tupperware container in my garage and I just go in there and I pull out whatever season. But like I said, I did not have uh, one that was actually for spring, so I'm so happy to have this one. Okay, so I bought three new house plants that I'm going to stick up here in the windows. Now these come in those white containers, however you can take the plant out. It's got its own little um, container in there so you can put it in water and let the water thoroughly drain. However, I am going to give it a little bit of drink of water um, while they're still in those pots and in a little bit I will um, pour out anything that is left in it. Like I said, I love to have a lot of greenery right here in this window right here on the buffet. I'll certainly be getting more plants to go in here, but for right now, this is a great start. I remember that I have these little cork um, mats that you put underneath plants just in case if they spill, um, it helps to absorb some of that liquid. So um, I could only find two of them. I don't know where my third one is. I'm sure that the grandkids used it as a Frisbee somewhere. But so I need to buy a third one, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the two in here and then I will certainly go back and get me a third one. Okay, so today we're going to use my little crock pot and I have already heated it up. I'm going to add in some almond bark and a whole container of peanuts. Now I'm going to um, put the recipe down in the um, description box for you. So if you'd like to try this, it's already there for you. So you just go ahead and you put the almond bark in there and then you put the peanuts and you put it on low and allow it to um, cook for about an hour and a half, two hours, just until it's nice and melted. And then we'll get on to the next here in just a minute. Okay, so right here is my coffee bar. Again, I don't like a whole lot of tchotchkes. I do have the two-tiered tray, and I wish I was somebody who could 
decorate it and make it look so cute like you see all the girls doing um, with their three-tiered trays. But I'm just not one because it's just too many things, if you know what I mean. Too many little tchotchkes. I like to um, put on here things that I'm actually going to use. So here we go. We got my vacuum out again. I'm going to get in here and I'm going to vacuum up all of those little coffee grinds that, you know, um, every time we grind it, tends to fly everywhere so I'm going to get all that cleaned up I'm going to wipe down the counter I also need to take care of the little hot plate of the um of the coffee pot because that thing gets really dirty and then we're going to put everything back together <music> Today I'm going to use the stainless steel cloth by E-Cloth and the reason that I'm going to use it is because it's got these nice little nubby scrubbies on this side. Okay, on the other side is like a regular E-Cloth and then on this side it's got the nubby scrubbies on it and I need that to clean that little pot area. So I know it says it's for stainless steel but I also use it if I need a little bit of nubby scrubbies. <laughs> Lost in the city lights, our love's electric, right? You make me feel alive. I know you This is a rolling tray that holds my coffee pot. My coffee pot is right underneath the cabinets and I cannot lift the top of it without pulling it out. So one of my subscribers suggested this and it's brilliant. You can also put um, other appliances on it. I've seen people put toaster ovens on it. See how it has the wheels right here? Um, it just rolls right out, but it's got a little lock front there on the front. So that way it stays down and it doesn't slide unless you push the button and roll it out. But people put um, crock pots on it or they'll put their toaster ovens on it and it just works out great. I'm going to link this um, down below for you and anything else that you see me um, using I will link as much as I can. If you see something that I do not have linked do not hesitate to uh, message me. Um, just leave it down in the comments and I will get you that link.
Okay, so this is how it looks so far. I did do a poll on Instagram asking if everybody liked the white little container because it's a little big for there. And um, I gave them a second option of a little white bird there. So I'm gonna switch that out for the white bird. Um, or I did, I've already switched it out for that white bird. And I also put the honey pot to the left and then the white bird to the right. That way the white just felt more balanced with the bunnies. So this right here are the little um, coffee cups that I got. I like to do this seasonally. Um, I think it's fun to add here um, on the bar. And um, it just brings in that little pop of color. And we use these all the time. Um, my daughter will come over. As you know, I um, homeschool my grandson on Mondays. And she brings all three boys to me so that she can go get all of her things done. Um, and I have the boys here with me and she likes to take cups of coffee with her. So anyways, um, I love having those little cups and I'm just rearranging this, making it look as nice as I possibly can. Um, again, all these things we use. So I know it's not the typical, um, cute three tiered tray, but Hey, all right. So now we're here in my living room and I'm going to go ahead and give my Swiffer duster a good little zhuzhing. You want to be sure you do this because this is what, um, you know, really catches all the hair, the fur and the dust. Um, I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to dust everything off and then I'm going to give it a good clean. And then I'm just going to add a few little things on here um, to make it feel a little Eastery, a little springy. Easy rider on the highway Station wagon going slow Windows open, you are basking In the bluegrass radio It's easy now to see you With your hand out on the wind I keep this folded at the corner So that I could not forget it Folded at the corner So that I could not forget Pink azaleas by your driveway Shade our leisurely goodbyes In your terry cotton sweater With your arms sweeping the sky It was then I I decided that I wanted to go ahead and add this grass mat right here to put the bunnies on. I like that it pulls the colors from the baskets on the wall and also the pottery to the left of here. Um, it just transitions that color nicely right over into this, um, this section. And I just think that looks awesome. And how cute is that family of bunnies? I love that my new blanket picks up all the colors in this pottery. I've always loved the pottery. It does match um, many of the things here in my home. And I love that this blanket now can be put on my chair or my couch and it just pulls that pottery color right in.
in your shadow to the coast Past the surf and whitewashed beaches Under There we go. I think that just looks so cute. It pulls all the blues and the greens and all that out of my pitcher, which goes down to my pottery. And I really like the added of the new mat. Okay, so here's my entryway table. I recently set it up like this with the pitcher there on the side. Um, I just wanted a little something different here. So I'm not going to be adding a whole lot, but I do like to have a little bowl of um, candies or treats right here by the door. Um, number one, I love spoiling my grandkids. And number two, it's a great way when mom and dad need to leave and they can um, bribe the kids. Hey, let's go. Grammy um, is going to let you have one of the little treats at the front door. So it bribes them out the door. <laughs> but I do have a drawer for them that's full of treats. And they know that they can come to Grammy's and Papa's house. And they can get in the snacky drawer and get um, all the fun little treats. But this right here is candy. And um, they're not allowed to have the candy until it's time to leave. And they get that little piece of candy to walk out the door. So that's always fun. Look at the precious little bunny on the left there. He is trying to climb into that little container and get those little eggs. I just think that is so precious. Okay, let's go back into the kitchen. And what you're gonna do here is you're gonna go ahead and stir the um, almond bark along with the peanuts. Get it all nice and stirred up. And then you're gonna wanna turn off the crock pot and let this cool down a little bit before we put anything in it. And then I'm gonna show you here in a little bit two ways that you can make this um, little treat. Um, there's um, two very distinct ways to make this and I love the way that um, I put it together in comparison to the way they put it together and I'll show you why here in just a minute. Okay so this is my guest bathroom but let's be honest if you have as many grandkids as I have this is considered the grandkids bathroom right? I mean come on I've got at least two or three grandkids with me on any given day. And um, they have to go potty a lot. So they use this bathroom a lot. And I like to have little things in here that um, is meant for them too. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna clean off the counters, just shine everything up. I come in here and clean once a day, you know, wipe down the counters, especially if the grandkids have been here and just be, th be sure that everything is sanitized. So um, I'm just gonna shine everything up and then I'm gonna bring in all their little pretties in here. Just one road to take It's growing up over with green So easy to drag on But that's what it seems The poison is spilling upstream And it's taking out Every living thing
So I'm interested to see in how many of the grandkids will recognize that there's candy in here. And what I'm really interested in seeing is which of the grandkids will come and ask me if they can have a candy before they open them up. I bet I know which will do which. Anyways, look how cute this candle is. I will never burn it. It's too cute, right? And then look at these um, little hand towels or washcloths. I was calling them rags, but they're washcloths. Don't they look so cute in here? Very springy. Okay, back into the um, kitchen. And this has cooled just a little bit for me, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it on some parchment paper. Now, mind you, this is only the almond bark with the peanuts. And because I'm doing that, I don't have to have it as cooled down as much as the next recipe, okay? So I'm just going to um, put a few of these out on here, and then I'm going to show you what I do with these. Who told you that it was too late? Mm -hmm. The next two ingredients are the mini marshmallows, and these come in different colors. And I'm also going to use the pastel colored M&Ms. All right. On top of these, I'm going to nestle in three or four of these little marshmallows. And then I'm going to also nestle in some of those chocolate chips. Okay. In the recipe, the second recipe, they have you put the marshmallows and the chocolate chips into um, the crock pot and you mix it all together. Um, they want it to be cool enough so that it does not um, open up the chocolates and, you know, make it all brown. Um, but that is really hard to do. And I'm going to show you here in a minute because I let it cool down quite a bit so that I can get these cookies done. Um, I just like the way that this comes out better than if when I add everything into the pot. And I'm going to show you that here in a second. You're going to see the comparison side by side. Now I'm going to sprinkle some of these sprinkles on top. Just look in the container and see which one looks most springy. I found two that I really like. And I'm just going to sprinkle a few on the top of here. Okay, you just put a few. You don't need a whole lot. Just a, enough to give it um, some sweet little color. The grandkids are really going to love that. Okay, so this right here is what it looks like after. Looks like a nice little cookie. Now I'm going to take you and I'm going to show you when you add everything together. Okay, so they want you to add the marshmallows in here and you're going to stir it all around, which is going to make it very mushy. It's going to look a lot like um, the, the crispy when you use the um, Rice Krispie treats, you know, those. It's going to look a lot like that, very creamy very um, sticky okay so you go ahead and you mix all that up and then you're going to gently start stirring in the chocolate chips but honestly they do break okay so you're going to see a little bit of chocolate in there um, you might be able to do it easier maybe I don't have the patience for it but um, and it does look like I'm going a lot more rough than what I actually am because I'm going so fast but what I want you to do is I want you to look at Olive Grace She's watching everything that I do, and let me tell you why. After I did this, after I filmed this, I went and I took a bath. And I came out, and I noticed that Olive Grace got on the counter, and she ate six of these cookies, these ones right here. Yeah, not good for her. And she didn't get dinner that night, because I was so upset with her. I told her, no dinner for you. Um, you're not supposed to be up on the counter eating these. <laughs> And oh my goodness, what a bad girl. Remember the Christmas that she got up and she ate the dark chocolate and I had to call poison control and all that? Well, here we go again. She's up there eating snacks that she's not supposed to be eating. And yes, it did have some chocolate, but it was um, milk chocolate and um, just a little bit of chocolate. So they said everything is fine. However, again, I did not give her any dinner last night or the, the night that this happened, which was two nights ago, because... Uh, that was a bad girl. Don't you agree? Just look at her. She just keeps looking up there like, um, oh, just wait till mom goes. And when she goes outside or she goes to the bathroom or she goes to take a bath, I know what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to jump up here and I'm going to get those little snackies. Oh, she's such a bad girl. But she's so good too. You know, you know, you love them just like they're your own kids. And I love her just like she's my own little child.
Okay, right here's the side-by-side -side comparison. The ones on the right are the way that I did it, and the ones on the left is the way that the recipe is going to tell you to do it. I actually prefer the one on the right. Okay, so this is where I'm going to be putting the cookies, but let me go ahead and add a little bit of water into the container and um, get this all set up so that I can put the cookies underneath that glass dome. Um, this is where my grandkids sit. They like to do their um, schoolwork here, things like that. So this is going to be a fun little treat to have right here for them. Okay, friends, I hope that you liked this video. If you did, would you please give me a big thumbs up? And if you haven't already subscribed, I hope that you'll click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you get reminded every time I post a new video. Now I'm going to leave you with this video to go see next, and I'll see you again next Sunday. Until then, stay blessed, my friends.